Hey everyone, it's Zoe. This semester, the Furman community must unite to keep our campus as safe and as healthy as possible. The goal is to protect the entire Furman family. So first thing in the morning when I wake up, even before I've had my coffee, I always make sure to do my health verification survey on the LiveSafe app. It takes just a few minutes and I'm always truthful with my responses. Let's see what my roommates are up to. Hey Zoe. Hi. Is it okay if my friend from Clemson comes over tonight? We can't invite friends from off campus and I thought we already talked about only inviting our allotted number of visitors. Oh shoot, well maybe we'll just hang out with Furman friends. Maybe they do a picnic outside or something. Oh, and social distance. That's great. Cool. What a great idea. Start day by picking the mask. I grab it by the string. Make sure I'm not touching the front. Voila! And I always make sure to grab from my safe side, not from my dirty side. Do you mind if I put them on? Oh yeah, I have mine right here. Yeah, yeah. I'll pull mine out of my back pocket. <laughs> Thanks, it's so good to see you. Have a Bye. great day. Bye. Now we're going to the DH. You come in from the lakeside side and you open up your get up. Then you can go scan it and get right in. Make sure to follow the purple dot. Hopefully we'll be changing and getting back to our normal routine. I mean, I miss you guys, I do. Thanks so much, Brian. In the dining hall, all of the sections are mirrored except for the vegan station. So make sure that you can go to any one of them. And don't forget to pick up a drink. So now you guys will get a chance to see what the pack looks like or one of the classrooms in the pack. So I'm currently walking um, to a class right now. And so let me see if I can flip the camera. For and so this is kind of what the classroom looks like. It'll like tell you, please wipe down your desk before you sit down. Thank you. Maximum capacity is nine. And so now you guys are going to get to see the inside of the classroom. And so what we see is that these desks are socially distanced apart. And there's Drew. And then there's Dr. Chris. Hi, Austin. I can't wait to all the students get here. And I'm going into the Trump Student Center. Um, students, now you're going to have to use your ID to go ahead and swipe in. And you swipe in right here. Door opens up and you can walk in. P2X is a little different now. They have a little kiosk. And the kiosk looks like this. Basically, I pull out my swipe ID. Swipe it. So now I'm going to show you guys what the PNN looks like. Again, we have little stickers telling you how to separate and how you should order your food. I personally love sushi, so you come over here and you only grab what you're gonna take. After you get what you want, again, you follow the path to the kiosk, and then at the kiosk, you will use the Get app to go ahead and scan for your food. And the kiosk looks like this. You'll scan your items here, and then you'll pay here with the Get app. I'm currently outside um, the James B. Duke Library, and as you can expect, it is also different. Basically, when you come up the stairs, it's swipe access just like Tron is. As you can see, you just swipe to get in, and then you can come in, and it's the same old library that you're used to. The only difference is that you have to be socially distanced apart. Um, within those study rooms over there, it's two per, per space. Some of the spaces are one. These tables as well, it's two people per table. But you have to be able to make sure that after you're done using a space, that you clean it up. You can find various hand sanitizers and sanitizing wipes to wipe down your spaces. Welcome to the pack. The pack is still open for student use and student use only. So you will be required to wear a mask during the time that you step foot into the pack to remain sanitary and all equipment and machinery is placed out so that everybody can be six feet apart while working out. The basketball gym is now called the Auxiliary Fitness Center and it contains a wide variety of aerobic equipment, bench press stations, and smaller weight equipment like resistance bands and medicine balls. And students may use this area anytime the pack is open. The former upper and lower level of the fitness centers are now reserved for the wellness classes from 8 to 5 on Mondays and Wednesdays and 8 to 4 on Tuesdays and Thursdays and 11.30 to 1.30 on Fridays. Students who want to exercise during this time will use the area on the basketball court, also known as the Auxiliary Fitness Center. 
As you guys get ready to come back to Furman, just remember all of the protocols that we just talked about and wear your mask, be six feet apart, get a pod of friends that you continuously hang out with so contact tracing is easier. And also just remember, be kind, be compassionate and be responsible because this pandemic is affecting people differently. And just be respectful of that. We are all one Furman family, so let's act like it.